All right. Mm-hmm. I guess let's address the elephant in the room here. Why why are we here <laughs> when most of this content was leaked la- yesterday? <laughs> Um, that's mostly because I'm confident that Nintendo still has something up their sleeves. They're typically yeah. pretty good with that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that they do. It'll uh, still be interesting to see the formal reveals and and, and better absolutely yeah. um, demonstrations. Because of course, all the people that leaked the content can't play the <laughs> game worth a damn. So we really didn't get to see yeah, what the characters are capable of or anything. Um. I think when it comes to hopes, like I, I do hope they reveal like one other character that isn't coming out quite so soon. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that they're going to. I kind of, I kind of would expect for them to be doing that for a while, like for each like round of. Yeah. Like I said to you the other day, I hope that they actually kind of do release in threes. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, uh, or at least some sort of pack. Is- which, yeah, some sort of pattern. We, we we did talk briefly yesterday. I hope, well, I think we both hope that they have some sort of bundle for buying all of them at once. Because I'm yeah. sure as soon as this is over, if they say I mean, the, if the they say they all have... this content's available after the presentation, I'm gonna go buy them all right away. So yeah, the thing is, is that they do have the bundles for the me outfits. For the me for the me clothes, you know. Right. So I'm kind of thinking that they might do the same if they release a pack of um, characters all at once. It makes sense to do, and obviously Mewtwo is not included in that because he was a little bit more special circumstances. Coincidentally, I see my Wii U is updating something. Why are people messaging me on Skype this <laughs> close to the direct? You should know better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Speaking of, here we go. Oh, here we go. Roy? Yeah. That's what I how I expected there. That's how I imagine. About. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget about me. Yeah. <laughs> Seals the deal. Yeah. <laughs> Roy. Oh, Roy! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, you said they might have luigi him a bit, right? Yeah, from what I was watching, he has a bunch of new tricks that, like... That's a good thing. Yeah. And maybe Falco's a better example. Like, his moves are still very similar to Marth's, but yeah, they have very true. different animations and probably hitboxes. Well, I mean, hitboxes were already slightly different for Roy than they were for Marth. A little. Yeah. It, well, they worked backwards, really. Jeez. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah. I like his final <laughs> smash, because that's his critical hit animation from the games, so that's yeah. pretty cool. It's not an instant kill, though. I noticed that. Right. Hello. Hey, Sakurai. I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora. Let's cut right to the chase. <sighs> In Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS, Roy is returning Roy to the is series. Returning. <laughs> Last time, Roy appeared as a fighter in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Unlike Marth, Roy's sword is stronger at its base, so you'll want to keep your opponents close when using him. Right. With enhanced strength, he's significantly more powerful now than he was in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Cool. Good. Jeez. Yeah, it's such a big difference, though. <laughs> yeah, he, he updated he, the he HD very really nicely. Good. He doesn't look more just like a red Marth, times. yeah. In Melee, he didn't have a final smash, but this time, he'll deliver a devastating sword blow Critical hit. straight out <laughs> yeah. of Fire Emblem. He'll be made available alongside the revival of Lucas. Right. Roy's back from Super Smash Bros. Mm. Melee, and Lucas returns from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Of the many fighters from past versions, I hope fans are happy to have back these two that were particularly popular. Yeah, sure. Why not? You know? Now it's so, just yeah, where's Roy's Wolf a, and uh, where's where's where are the ice climbers? <laughs> yeah, where's ice climbers? That's all that's left. Fighter costumes. Yeah. Well, do we don't really care too much about the fighter costumes. Yeah, I guess some people might. Some people do, I guess. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of new Mega Man ones, which is pretty cool. But, that's um, true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Q 
Yeah, the it, that one's just creepy. Yeah. Honestly. I've heard people <laughs> say that it's like the, uh, like Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, Five Nights <laughs> at Freddy's. Isabel. Yeah, I can certainly see it. Now the Splatoon actually fits very well with the. Yeah, it does. Pieces. It's kind of disappointing that that's that's the first Sega one they bring in. Yeah. Uh, true. Alright. Like, when the, he when the hell is Tails joining the battle? Like, <laughs> yeah. they added a second Capcom- spoiler alert- second Capcom character before- yeah. <laughs> before a second Sega character? That's goofy. <laughs> it is kinda goofy, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, boy. As for new Mii Fighter costumes, there's Virtua Fighter. Also, I'm pretty sure that the, Jackie's like, costume is a sadly costume enough, the amiibo Wii. for Splatoon don't unlock the amiibo the costumes, I believe. Right? I don't think so. That would be, yeah. that would be pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Now the legendary 3D fighting game. It's like I don't. I, I know that we saw them before, and I think that they said. That, because I think that they didn't say that they were unlocking them. Costumes for Mega Man no, they were like a pre-order bonus from GameStop or something. For oh Splatoon. yeah, that's right. Pre-order bonus from GameStop for buying Splatoon. That's right. from Animal Crossing. And even the Inklings from Splatoon. Yeah. Let's not forget in-game Splatoon trophies too. Right. Here are the prices for these additional Mii costumes. Yeah. By the way, while we've released many Amiibo... Yes. <laughs> these Amiibo are finally on Oh. The oh. oh. Mii Fighter. I don't know Mii about Fighter. them. It's the, the basics. Brawler, it's hard Mii to Fighter, say that there's interest in them. Gun. Yeah. <sighs> you can like, I get it, of these but I mean, at the same time... Meaning you can dress them up in DLC costumes, They are basics. Too. I'd kind of rather if they were just a single a unit, to expand you know. Yeah, I thought at first rather that it was a, that it was like one bigger yeah, amiibo. Super but... Smash Brothers I mean, it didn't even have to be a bigger amiibo. They're just like first, they could have done it with three similar size. Stars. Rob, yeah. Duck Hunt and Mr. Game and Watch. Then comes Falco. As you can see, Mr. Game and Watch is flat, <laughs> and he comes yes. with a number of different poses yes. you can swap out. Really? Oh, cool. That is fucking cool. All these amiibo figures that is will be fucking available cool. this September. <laughs> Eventually, all 51 fighters from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U... Okay, yeah, that's freaking cool. I love what they did for Game amiibo. and Watch there. Having all these characters appearing <laughs> in the same set like this, there's nothing else quite like it. Of course, you can level them up one by one. Mewtwo and Lucas Amiibo mm -hmm. will be released as well. You can check for more details well, so will Roy, on, the right? on the official Amiibo assume. site. I would assume, yeah. And finally, we're releasing more stages. <laughs> Brings back memories, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. This is Dreamland. It's a Kirby stage from the original Super Smash Bros. game on Nintendo 64. Gosh. We've intentionally replicated the original style, but we did renew certain parts. It does look pretty damn good. Of course, this stage also has an Omega Prime. form. We've recreated this stage for both the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS versions. The price is listed right here. Oh, it's a priced stage? I don't think we can add too many more stages. Was not expecting but that. We're planning a couple more from the original Super Smash Bros. game. Yeah, I figured they Here's would just be taste. parts yeah. of the update. Uh, oh, cool. I figured that they were just going to be content upgrade updates when it came to stages. Like, I don't know about $3 for a stage. That's kind of... Yeah. You know? Yeah. The Miiverse stage is finally coming to the Wii U version. During matches while connected to the internet, you'll start to see especially when like here, cheering fighters on in the back. I feel like a lot of people probably only play the Omega forms, so these messages will yeah. be fueled by your support. We'll be opening a Miiverse community. For oh, so it is going to be live. So if you post your messages there, right, right. they'll show up in the background. I figured they were taking so long to develop it because they were hand-picking I'm sure it's the exciting. No, I didn't figure that they were hand-picking. I think that they were working it the same so way that... Um, similar to how Splatoon does it. Right. Know? 
they just needed it to work, I guess, within the system. On the bonus CD that was available from Club Nintendo, there are some songs that you may never have actually heard in the game. They're from this Miiverse stage. I hope you like this music too. Ah. Huh. I never actually listened to the soundtrack. <laughs> the price, there I actually. Yes. Well, yeah, we know that the one's free. We already knew that. Yeah. Uh, now for an announcement regarding tournament. I forgot about tournament mode. The new oh, yeah, mode so did I. Community wow. Where you can oh, that's an online mode? <laughs> certain amount yeah. Of time, as well as regular tourneys, which only happen at certain times, just like real tournaments. We already finished developing both types, but we want to make sure we test out the online features thoroughly, so please wait just a bit longer. I believe you can have... I believe it's probably both. So you can have local and... You can make... You can create one that ends up being completely local, for example. There's another new feature in the works. Oh. Super Smash Bros. Something... For Wii YouTube so uh, you implementation, yeah. Videos on YouTube. I read that, that was, there were, they then, found data in there, updates, but they assumed it was a cut would feature, yeah. not something that they were the still working version. on. Right. But with this new replay posting feature, you can record videos and post them on YouTube. Yeah, because we were wondering with that, considering so Mario Kart 8 files, basically so has a... Right. Your PC or smartphone too. To use this feature, you'll need a Google account. Mm -hmm. For details, please check the official site after the service begins. Right. Now for the final announcement. Please take a look. Yeah. Gee, I wonder what this is. <laughs> oh, I wonder who it could be. <sighs> yeah. Smash Brothers X Street Fighter. Smash. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. He's probably going to be more enjoyable than Little Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool, Kirby. Oh, uh, <laughs> Defeat my Shoryuken to stand a chance. Alright. And is he available right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gosh. Thank you for waiting. Ryu of the Street Fighter series joins the fight. Yeah. He arrives in Super Smash Bros. seeking powerful opponents. He's being created to most closely resemble his Street Fighter 2 form. In that game, there were six buttons, but mm. Smash focuses on two. Yeah. Yet somehow, he'll have a wide range of moves at his disposal. Even his low attacks have light, medium, and heavy <laughs> buttons. Hmm. That's because the move you activate depends on whether you tap the button or uh. press and hold the button. Oh, interesting. Right. You can use completely different moves from light to heavy by holding the button longer. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Rapidly tap the button to chain it. Yeah, I was saying, I think he has potential to be a very technical character, yeah, so that could does. be very interesting. You even have a weak side attack or a strong side attack. You can use familiar Street Fighter moves too. Right. Collarbone Breaker is a great shield breaking move. And Jodan Sokuto Geri is a move from Street Fighter 3. <laughs> In general, Ryu is geared toward dealing out combo attacks. Some of these combos appear in Street Fighter games, and there are some new ones, too. And yeah, he's going to be fun to watch in competitive play. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can activate a Hadouken with the press of a button. <laughs> Remember, you can change the speed of the move right, right. how long you press and hold it down. For the Hadouken, we've also accommodated Street Fighter's familiar command input. <laughs> If you enter its original command, the move is a bit stronger. 
Another type of Hadoken, the Shakunetsu Hadoken, can be activated by entering a Yoga Flame command. Uh, I was There's wondering about that. I saw that in some footage, and I was like, I wonder how that was it's activated. It's hugely destructive, and it can Gosh. be used for movement too. Now, for the invincible finishing move, the Shoryuken. You can activate a Shoryuken with just one button press, <laughs> but if you enter the original command input, there's a good chance you will KO your opponent. Oh, really? Making contact at the start of the animation. If you input the command correctly, the character's voice and effects will change, so trust me, you'll know. Mm. Yeah, there was a little change there. Yeah. His down special move is called a focus <coughs> attack. It lets you take a hit from your opponent and stun them. Gosh. Keep pressing the button to increase its power. If you hit the opponent, press forward twice to cancel the animation and dash, then... Interesting. Up. Yeah. And Ryu He's gonna have a high learning Smash curve. Brothers. Oh, absolutely, yeah. He's the first yeah, fighter it's... in Super Smash Brothers history to have that. If and yeah, the two Final different... Smash the normal way, it's a Shinku Hadoken. It'll hit surrounding opponents as well. Right. Pull it off next to an opponent, Ah, okay. And you'll have the chance to seal the deal. Okay, so that's the difference. Hit yeah. Features, different hit sound effects, and <coughs> we developed this fighter to highlight his special characteristics. I hope you enjoy playing as him. Yeah, he's certainly done well from the look of it. So it's like, yeah, it's it's We're okay to have him. You know? stage yeah, they came up with very interesting mechanics yeah. for him. The right side provides stable footing, while the left side has smaller separated platforms. That means your strategy Which is pretty much like when they first leaked out finding files for him. Yeah. I was like, that's fine, but like I hope they find an interesting way to do him. Because if he's just Mario with a counter or something, that would be boring. Yeah. Yeah. The stage will appear on both Wii U and Nintendo 3DS versions. For the background music, you can select the theme from the used stage in the original game. During battle, the music will switch to a different theme when you near the end of the match. Uh, mm -hmm. That's also new to the Smash series. Yeah. No, it's not. The <laughs> they did it in <laughs> one of the Mushroom Kingdom stages on and Melee, I think. Or no, even in 64 it did that. Like, the music got faster There's in the final minute. Of the theme from uh, it's stage. not just that it gets faster. Mm, true. This one was arranged by Street Fighter 2's sound composer. That's probably why Yoko they consider it being something different. Plus, the character's illustration was done by the original character designer, Sheesh, look at Akuma. That. <laughs> <laughs> We've also included a Ryu trophy and a Ken trophy, too. You can, of course, get these in-game trophies just by playing the game. We put a lot of effort into implementing Ryu mm -hmm. into these games. Enjoy! Ryu and mm. Suzaku Castle come as a set for the price of Okay, well, he comes with the... Yeah. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's somewhat unrelated, Whoa. but representing Tekken is Heihachi with a mini yeah. fighter costume. You can sport his unique hairstyle, too. Three top fighting games have now united in Super That's Smash true. Brothers. Please enjoy. Yeah. We've already decided to create Amiibo of Roy and Ryu yes. as well. Yes, yes. Yeah, figured. Absolutely. The release timing hasn't been finalized yet, but please check back on the official Amiibo site later. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard some rumors okay, possibly that Ryu may even get some Ryu. Amiibo functionality Boy. in Luke Street Fighter V, Akira. which isn't even going to be on a Jackie. Nintendo system. Is yeah, because <laughs> they were just saying Mega something Man about... DXT. They, they just released something saying that, that like it will never be on Xbox in any iteration, right? Because it is outright a PlayStation exclusive, and it's like, well, yeah. then, um, like it's not going to come to the Wii U either. No, like, it's not going to come to the Wii U, but I mean, you, I mean, there's still Suzaki devices Castle. that have NFC, Omega so I mean, you could easily, stages. oh yeah, they, they could easily implement the something. Stages. They could be allowed to implement something that Ken. does work with the Roy. Ken Amiibo, Lucas, uh, and Splatoon. For you can also get these that works with Ken Amiibo for, or not Ken the Ryu Amiibo for for PlayStation all of 4 these will be released today yep Available all of it today okay. or from the Nintendo eShop the servers may experience quite a bit of <laughs> yeah give it some time and try again yeah. if you have any difficulties yeah
Thanks for watching today's presentation. <laughs> Be sure to tune in later today for the Nintendo World Championships 2015. Right. Yeah, and as I've said in some of our so I, I, Splatoon I, I, I coverage, we're not we're not going to cover the world. Yeah, we're not going to cover the world championship. We'll probably talk uh, about it at a later point. Yeah, we'll probably talk about it uh, when we. I don't know. So sometime during E three. Yeah. yeah, might do it before the direct on Tuesday or something. Right, I don't know. right. We'll figure something out. Um, yeah. I was even thinking about <laughs> doing a little hands on with all this Smash stuff once I get it downloaded. Then, but I guess we'll see about that. Um, right. So for now, yeah, that's that's it. I'm sorry that wasn't it, more entertaining, but like I said when we started, we, like we mo it, all we, of this was leaked yesterday. It, so yeah. I, literally everything in there was leaked yesterday. Yeah, aside from the fact uh, that they're working on more 64 stages, I think that was the only yeah, thing that uh, we didn't know about. Yeah, um, um, they didn't announce any new development for new characters, but at the, like I, I I have two opinions on that. Either they just want to keep that low. Uh, the same way, obviously, I mean, we didn't even hear about Lucas until quite a while after the, you know, after right. his development was already in. Um, and we just heard about uh, Roy and Ryu, technically, and they just got put in. So we might not hear ahead of time, or uh, the next round of that might end up being in October when the, uh, okay, I think it's October when that um, contest ends, right? For the submission. Oh, the ballot. Yes. Yeah, the ballot. I, I think that ends in October, yes. I believe it's October. Um, so that might be when we see more. We, might, um, we they, may even see more just during E3, during the Direct. Yeah, or, they might show us more on Tuesday. Um, yeah. They said the tournament mode was coming in August, so we might see more with that. Right. Um, yeah, there's 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 a lot that, can, ha that, that yeah. can happen there. The only thing that I'm slightly surprised about is there's no three-pack for Lucas, Roy, and... Uh, Ryu. And yeah, I am surprised I, and about I, and that. I guess the paid stages I'm not that big on, considering their price tag is pretty yeah, high. Yeah, I wasn't really... Ex I mean, like, Ryu comes with like, his... Ryu comes with a stage, and that's fine. But um, then Kirby 64 is... Yeah, I wasn't $2. expecting... Sta I wasn't expecting yeah. stages to be paid. I, I was no, expecting them to just be put in. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was expecting the same, just for stages to be put in. $3 for the stage is kind of hard to go for, uh, for one stage. Yeah, because like I said, like... I mean, in comparison to, say, the Mario Kart DLC for for courses, that you can right, see those... the giant amount of work put into those. Well, that and, and those are the bread and butter of the game. Exactly, um... and those are easily worth the cost, you know yeah. what I mean? Like I, I personally, costs, we only do we only do Omega forms anymore because we had to, we had too many matches where someone would get Little Mac and then we'd get a moving stage and they'd be right. completely screwed. He'd be screwed. So because yeah. we play random characters here too, yeah. so we pretty much only do Omega forms. So it's kind of like it's just a a skin change for that same right. Omega form that we're playing on otherwise. So right um, and even. Even then, the stage itself is not it is not so complex in terms of mechanics when it comes to non Omega form. Yeah, it really would be like three dollars, you know. Like um, if it was the big, com you know, complex stage with a lot of. You I mean, know, I would on. I would probably buy them before it co before yeah. I would buy the me costumes. Yeah, I'd probably buy stages um, before buying the me costumes, but uh, that's so far down on the list that I don't think it really. Yeah. <laughs> Like, although, yeah, at least Ryu comes with his stage, so that's kind of cool. I think it's like a dollar more for a stage, so that's not bad. Like, that's a whatever. Yeah, I yeah. think that's all it was. Like, if like if Lucas came with the Kirby stage, you know what I mean? Or something, you know? Yeah. Again, they could have had a bundle that just had all of it. Yeah, yeah. Um. Unless they did, and we just, like, they just didn't show it or something. That's possible. Know. I guess I guess we'll check out the the shop and see what's right. going on there. Ch um, I mean, chances are I would have expected them to show it though. Uh, like I said, I might I might do a hands on thing with the new characters. Then I don't know. It kind of depends on what you want to do today, I guess. Um, yeah. Other than that, we'll we'll be back on Tuesday, I imagine. Because I don't think there's going to be anything to cover tomorrow. Um, not unless there's a surprise Splatoon stage. 
Oh yeah, I guess if they update, do more Splatoon updates, I guess that's possible. Um, we didn't cover the last weapon, but I yeah, I skipped the weapon because it was just a weapon, honestly, and it yeah wasn't, exactly. didn't really fit my playstyle very much. Big, it wasn't a big difference in a weapon the way that the and uh, the the, the night it the night it went live, the stage rotation involved Kelp Dome, and I was like, I don't, I'm no, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not that into Kelp Dome. It's still Nintendo too big eShop for me. is currently undergoing maintenance. Okay. Oh yeah, it's no surprise. Anyway, yeah, we'll be back on on Tuesday unless something comes up before that. Right. Yeah.